Hello and welcome to Blender video tutorial number 8 and in this tutorial we'll be discussing editing buttons in edit mode how to edit our mesh to add on and create our object that we have been planning on or have been thinking about so first off select your mesh your cube is by default selected we'll just we'll model from the cube in this tutorial and in the next tutorials we'll, we'll model from other objects or even just start from one vertice okay for so to start out with hit the tab key and we'll go into edit mode okay so now we're in edit mode and we go down to the bottom here we have our editing buttons and we can tell this by the four dotted uh, square here this uh, little key okay and all of these are editing buttons all these even all if you if you uh, middle mouse wheel it'll scroll these over like this so that you can even see ones that don't show up when you first uh, go down here so scroll over and middle mouse click and drag and you can even see more buttons here see you can't that just kinda hides and shows some more keys and uh, if you're having trouble reading the text because it's too small you can hold down control and middle mouse zoom in and out and it'll scroll in and out okay so just an, a tip for uh, seeing the keys better so control zoom in and out with the middle mouse button and uh, middle mouse click and you can drag it around and without holding control zoom in and out and it'll scroll back and forth so, so there are some keys and also one last thing that you can do is with your 3D with your cursor and the buttons buttons panel which is these hold down control and hit the up arrow on the keyboard and it'll do it'll uh, bring it to a complete completely new screen all by itself okay to get rid of this hold control and hit down arrow key and it'll bring it back to where it was alright just thought you might know, need to know this because it really helps out uh, to show all the keys and all the buttons alright so let's move on to our mesh editing okay so we uh, we have all these buttons down here they all affect this cube because it we're in edit mode and all of these have an effect on it no matter what they all have effects some of these buttons you may not even see until you actually uh, perform another another step like uh, flipping the normals and then you go into particles and the particles may go a different direction than they would before and you can only change that by an edit mode okay uh... not really to worry about that just to an example okay so we can first start off with a couple of these uh... the mesh tools there's mesh and then mesh tools we're in mesh tools okay and we can okay we'll unselect them all by hitting the a key and we're going to go to face view so we can select faces only which by this little triangle and so that you won't select faces on the other side you hit this this box key once you hit that you can select all the any face that you want but you cannot select through the mesh and note that when you're in wireframe with the Z key it, uh, it takes out this button because it'll always you can't uh, have this to where you can't select on the other side uh, it's kinda I don't know you just have to experiment around with it anyways moving on I'm gonna select the top the top one the top face along the z-axis and I'm gonna come down to the edit buttons now if we hit fracture this is a cool this is pretty cool if you hit fracture it will disorientate that entire face so now if we come back up we can see that it's been subdivided on the top but the mesh is been almost like crumbled up in a way okay so we'll do this again a fracture again and now if we go to object mode with tab key we'll notice that it's a very scattered face it does bring our vertice count up and we can check this by coming up here and seeing the VE 29 that's the vertices so our VE 29 counts for all the vertices the vertices are these once again okay back to the editing I'm gonna hit U key for undo so we'll just undo this fracture okay another really cool one is the spin key uh, 
this isn't going to be the best object to do a spin on but we'll just it's kind of an experiment so hit one for side view or well front view from side and we'll hit the spin key which is right here under the long extrude button spin spin DUP and screw we just need to hit spin and if you notice what this does it spins it I believe 90 degrees and just brings out I think it extrudes it and spins it at the same time not really sure but we'll do this again one more time and we've created a circle an entire circle it's not a way that you would want to create one but once again this wasn't the best mesh to uh, use this tool on anyway now we've got some interesting things you can mess around with this experiment around so I'm going to U-key this and undo okay uh, now if we don't want to use these mesh tools which I mean normally you don't uh, for just modeling you would later on you would use the W key with your face selected use the W key and it brings up your specials menu this has all all the uh, main elements for uh, editing your mesh like uh, subdivide and uh, you can I'll go over this in other tutorials and bevel is a really good one for uh, I'll just demonstrate it really quick just kinda self explanatory so we have this all the corners are sharp and jagged hit W and bevel and we just bring it in like the size key and if we noticed it kinda it, it curves in all the angles as we could say okay so I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll be demonstrating more uh, more of these tools in the next one thank you